Hello slash friends, I'm happy to give you my setup for the Companion Dread build. Even if it's not meta, it's still very fun to play and if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. A few words before starting this video, of course we'll enjoy the buffies from the new patch, the stats given to the companions, affixes and tempers, and the idea is to give you a base build so that you can work on it. Compared to my other builds, I didn't have the chance to fully test it, but at least you'll have a strong base if you want to do a companion dread. I'll start with how this build is working and the idea is that you want to play with wolves, poison creeper and ravens. Of course when you apply the button they will attack on the target area, except for the creeper which will be around you. You also have the earthen bulwark to be unstoppable and the blood hole which will increase your attack speed but also the attack speed for your minions. You do want some attack speed in order to use your claw and to have a chance to reset your companion skills. Of course, your minions will also enjoy this attack speed boost. So when you have your minions on cooldown, you want to do some basic attacks in order to reset the cooldown of your skills and you start over and so on and so on. The reset is done with this boost, you have a chance on a critical strike on a lucky hit to reset your companion skills. Even if we build around poison so we don't have much critical strike chance, it will still be effective. For the other boons, you want to have damage reduction from elite, some life, attack speed just here and for the last one, this one, a bit of healing when you land a critical strike. It's not very good but anyway, the other one cannot be used in this build. For the skill tree, you want to have a chance to use twice your claw and then you want to have some critical strike chance against enemies. It will help you to reset your companion skills. You want to be unstoppable here and attack speed just here. You also want the defensive passive here and you want for the wolves to get some fortification. For the creeper, you want the poison duration and for the raven, the vulnerability. Of course, you want to put 3 points in the call of the wild and the remaining point just here. After that, you want rabies, 5 points on it and poison applied in 4 seconds instead of 6. The rabies will be applied by the wolf with the associated aspect and then you want 3 points here in order to have some damage reduction when you shapeshift into a werewolf. You also want crowd control duration with 3 points just here and the K passive bestial rampage in order for you to get some attack speed but also to your minions once again with the associated aspect. For the paragon you want to have this glyph in order to boost your companion damage and then you want to put this one here, it will boost your non-physical damage for your companion. It's important to have it here in order to have the damage reduced from poison enemies and also the damage to poison enemies increase. You want to get this node which will increase the damage when you have 3 or more poison enemies and this glyph increase damage to close enemies. You also want to get on your right, get this one which will increase your poison damage and at the bottom of it you want also to increase the damage to poison enemies. You'll get increased damage while fortified and also increased damage reduction while fortified and finally this glyph to increase your damage to vulnerable enemies. For the gear you want to get some armor on your helm and you want ranks to your minions. You also want poison creeper duration and cooldown on your blood hole and same for the armor. For the aspect you want damage reduction after using a basic attack, ranks to defensive skill, maximum life and willpower. For the gloves you want to have increased damage based on your resource, willpower, lucky hit chance, damage over time and some companion damage and damage. For the pants you can go for the unique one which will quite cool because it will boost the ranks of your walls and also give them the storm hole. Even if we build around poison the stats are quite cool to have. Then for the boots you can go for the Yen's Blessing in order to have another cast of a minion skill but if you prefer you can also go for the Hectic because they will reduce the cooldown after 5 basic attacks. If you do so go for willpower, life movement speed and for the tempers also movement speed. For the two-handed weapons, you want to have one more companion and boost the damage of your companions. You also want damage over time, damage, willpower, companion damage and damage. For the rings, you'll get some companion damage and cooldown on your companion because if you don't reset your companion skills, you'll have them more often. For the aspect, you want to grant them the bestial rampage so they'll get 30% attack speed and you also want to grant them blood hole. It will also increase your critical strike chance and help you to have a chance to reset your minions cooldown. Finally, for the amulet, you want to have willpower, damage, 
cooldown reduction, companion damage, companion cooldown reduction, and increased damage for your wolves and also the fact that they will apply rabies. It will help you to boost your overall damage. Thanks for watching this video, I hope that you'll enjoy this companion druid setup and as usual you have the full builder on the link below the video.